Hey guys, I have another workaround video. Uh, when, I, when I first repaired this uh, uh, green color DTL printer, and I'll put a link above. I got a uh, lot of people uh, email me said like, uh, so uh, what's going on? So what's what you have after you get into the printer? So I just give you guys an update. If you remember from that video, and I saw this weird thing in the front, and it looked like uh, with the two wires get cut out, and also when I peek in, there's a FFC cable laying on the on the bottom. Again, I'm running a repair shop, so the printer gets here, they're not in the best shape. Uh, I don't know if it was a uh, was manufacturer, or I don't know if it's customer modification. So I ha there's no mean if something wrong reflects the manufacturer's fault uh, or the customer's fault. I don't know who did it, so I'm just going to report what I see here, okay? Also, if you want to sue me, go ahead. Epson or they sue me like a couple years ago. I got a lawyer that uh, make uh, six hundred dollars an hour. That means by the time you finish a uh, one rotisserie chicken, he already make enough money to buy a chicken farm. And uh, what I like about this printer is every screw is sideways, so you don't have really long uh, the screwdriver uh, to dig down and uh, remove the screws. So you can just walk around and uh, you can remove the casing out of it. Uh, what I don't like is the tank is kind of individual tank, so uh, they're not together, and uh, it's kind of it's kind of tedious. And uh, I mean, when I need to get into the printer, I have to like uh, have a box, take the tank out, and uh, then remove that platform, and then dig inside. However, every tube is labeled. And uh, the tube size is really good, good tubes, except the white ink. I, I think if they use a silicon tube or another kind of tube, it's better. But it will certainly work for a couple of years. What you want to do is uh, before you cut a tube, you also put your own label on it. And uh, because later on, you don't want to figure out which tube is which. And now we can separate the tank from the, uh, the, the printer. And now the casing can be removed and uh, reveals what's inside. And that uh, mystery FFC cable actually is going to the control board. I'm just checking the sensors, uh, APG uh, units, platen, and uh, just make sure what I see is there's nothing out of order. Uh, the customer just said, uh, okay, uh, the ink dries inside the tank, uh, inside the tube. Okay, that's easy uh, fix. And also the print doesn't turn on. Oh, it doesn't turn on. It's of course, you have <laughs> you have F FC cable just laying on the, on the ground. It'll be easy fix. So I put it in and uh, turn the power on. And uh, I'm playing with uh, a control panel, which I just newly connected uh, connected FFC cable. I was hoping to turn the print on. And uh, here's where I got uh, electrocuted. I'm about to put uh, the put down the control panel, and here's I'm going to touch the middle part of the printer. <laughs> here, see that? And I was like, hey, you guys gotta see this. Here's a slow motion for your enjoyment. Bam! What the? I'm going home. I remember that 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 wire thing get cut off. <laughs> it's this thing. It's totally unprotected. <laughs> so I guess I just uh, don't trust anything get the sent in and uh, double check all the wires. <laughs> and also I find a mystery part and uh, I don't know where this part comes from and uh, I've never seen it before and it seems the printer work okay without it. Interesting. It looks like the two wire uh, touched uh, the aluminum part and uh, burn a really heavy burn mark on it. Uh, here's the second mis second mystery piece that uh, I found inside the printer, and uh, it belongs to here. And uh, so I installed that one. When you repair a printer, make sure you put all the mystery piece and all the screws in one place. I found the reason that the printer turned on is because it had a, a bad motherboard. 
uh, if you ask us to repair a printer, or we repair to a state that if you have a good printer, it can print. So we can turn the printer on. The carriage can move left and right without any errors. Uh, however, we do not work on the printhead. So we're not going to clean it clean until you get a perfect nozzle check. No, we're not going to do that. We will use our testing printhead to test the printer. If we work on our uh, uh, test printhead, and we're going to return to you. If you bring us a new printhead, you call it new, uh, we're going to put it on, but then we're not going to test it. After we fix the mainboard and uh, the printer now turned on, but you got those two flashing. You thought it was, we thought it was a waste tank, but it's not. And uh, we identify it's a problem with the printhead. So we took the uh, original, uh, quote unquote, original printhead out and put on, put in ours, and it works just fine. So we're going to take a closer look of this printhead. Uh, we also check the price range of uh, this printer. Uh, it's like a thousand dollar printer or something. Uh, so with this price range, you're not expecting to get a new printer at all. Uh, trust me, every customer who sent in their printer tell me they bought a brand new printer. So at the beginning, I was a lot so happy. Well, I have a new printer easy to fix. <laughs> However, there, I don't think I ever seen a new printer. Anyway, so. Here's the printer that had the problem. Let's take a look. And uh, from the sticker on the side, and uh, you can tell it's a refurbished, uh, refurbished printer. Uh, there are a couple of grades of printer. The best one, of course, is have a Epson's seal. That's from Epson, brand new. And the second one is taken from a brand new Epson printer. So people take it apart, uh, take it out, and put their sticker on. And uh, you have to know the manufacturer, or not the manufacturer, the remodeler who took it off, and then you know what their sticker look like. And third one is, the, is uh, those grids that's uh, uh, no name, it just have a date on it, and uh, you don't know them. So it probably is an uh, old printhead that refurbished. Another thing is you have to look how if I get scratches on that uh, gold plate, and you can you can see there are lots and lots of scratches. So there's no way this is a new printhead. Whenever I encounter a printhead uh, with a seal that I don't recognize, I lo look the scratches. I just look at the scratches, <laughs> and there's no way you can hide the scratches. So this is a uh, old old printhead. Uh, look at this and uh, pay attention to the colors. You see the blue and the red in the middle. Uh, let me explain to you, okay? So here we have five holes, and the one on the left, it looks like two holes, just, actually just one hole, okay? So I get uh, five holes. And uh, on the ink level, we have uh, six six colors, sand, magenta, LC, LM, which LC, LM will put a white ink in it, and uh, and uh, black and yellow, KY, okay? So the LC and uh, LM goes to those two holes, and the K goes here, and M goes here. And uh, C goes here, and uh, Y goes here. So what you see, the front row is four colors, K, C, M, Y, and the back two, that is, should be white. So if this is a new brand, uh, brand new printhead, there should be a uh, blue ink on the top hole. You got it? <laughs> so this, uh, this one after, I don't know if it's refurbished. If it is refurbished, you got to clean it. Then you have uh, have the shipping fluid in it. The top one should be should not have any blue ink in it. Uh, so this is just garbage just taken from trash, never been cleaned. Again, this is exactly the reason we do not work on the printhead at all. Okay, our customers either bought uh, they think it's a brand new printer or uh, they bought uh, like eighty dollar printhead online and. Uh, and there's no way uh, that we can fix it, or it, even we don't want to touch it. And the customer, uh, uh, 
the, what the customer tell me is uh, this is the original print that in the printer when it's shipped to him. Uh, so I don't know. I I don't know uh, the whole story, but this is my observation. Another thing is that this belt doesn't look like original uh, OEM Epson belt, and it's kind of noisy, but it works. And another problem with this printer is the ink is clogged inside the tubes, so uh, we don't, we, we're just going to unclog the tubes and uh, return, uh, just put it back and uh, return the printer. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.